How's it going everyone? And this is Daniel and this video, we are going to be talking about Tesla stock and the overall stock market. We're gonna go over and look at exactly what to expect, what kind of price action can we expect for Tesla stock after the stock split. We also gonna be talking about the overall market. Last week on Friday, we saw a pretty aggressive sell-off. So we're gonna go over and look at exactly, can we have a continuation move to the downside? What are some important price point levels we need to be watching out for for the overall market also for tesla stock too so we're going to be talking about all this important information in this video coming up as you can see over here we have tesla stock that closed down 2.7 percent on friday this was after the stock split finalized as you can see over here we have the overall market that went aggressively to the downside being down more than three percent so this was an aggressive sell-off that we saw on the overall market for the past several months so we have never seen a move that is bigger than three percent as you can see unfortunately on friday we saw a big snap to the downside we were looking at a key support level of around 415 after we broke that you know we we sold off aggressively to the downside this is mainly due to because of what jerome powell had to say he had a speech he gave a speech for around eight minutes and in that speech, he mentioned that he is potentially looking for for the economy to slow down and there could potentially be more pain ahead for the economy and for uh, the middle class American people. So he basically gave a warning for the majority of the people in the U.S. and also investors really didn't like some of the comments that he mentioned during that speech. And we saw, as you can see, we're down 3.38% to the downside. So. We're going to be talking about, of course, exactly what to expect also for Tesla stock. You know, this was the type of price action that we're expecting. You know, on the previous videos, we talked about, okay, we saw some of the price action that we've seen for Amazon, Google that did a stock split recently. And after the stock split took place, their stocks sold off aggressively to the downside. And for Tesla, it relatively outperformed the market. As you can see, it's up to, it's down 2.7% but the market is down more than 3%. So it relatively held up strong, you know, even though we were expecting these kind of price action to take place, but still holding above the key support level that we're watching, which is around 280. And if we can continue to go to the downside if the overall market just continues to sell off again to on Monday, we could potentially test this support level. And if we break down, we, we have a pretty strong support around 250 area too if we potentially break below this support level. Also, when you look at the overall market too, you know, we have some really important economic uh, data coming out this upcoming week. You know, let's say on Tuesday, we're gonna be getting the job opening data for the month of July. We're gonna be getting that. We're also gonna be getting consumer confidence index, which is really important. We also have the New York Fed President John Williams gonna be speaking. And also on Wednesday, we're gonna be getting the ADP employment report, Chicago manufacturing PMI. And also on Thursday, we're gonna be getting initial jobless claims data. We have uh, the labor costs, the ISM manufacturing index, construction spending. And also on Friday, which is gonna be really important, we're gonna be getting non-farm payrolls and unemployment rates. So it's gonna be a really important indicator of how the economy is doing. We know that unemployment has been holding strong, definitely, and even in the past, it has gone lower, even though the Fed has been aggressively raising interest rates. But right now, we're anticipating a 3.5% unemployment rate. So if it actually ticks up again, that could be an indication that the economy is slowing down and that the labor market potentially be slowing down at the same time, too. So this is definitely an important thing to watch out for for Friday this upcoming week. So overall, after we digested of what the Fed had to say on Friday, this upcoming week, we're expecting some form of a continuation to happen, especially on Monday. We could potentially be gapping down and have a reversal. That is the price action that we're expecting on Monday. So we have a, a good support on round 397 to 400 for the overall S&P 500 ETF SPY. So I'm expecting if we could gap down, we could have a reversal to happen, a buyback to happen. For the overall market, we could also see some kind of similar type of price action to watch out for for Tesla 
for this upcoming week. So we also have some important earnings coming out this upcoming week. So uh, we have retailers like Best Buy, we have HP announcing earnings, but these are gonna be the bigger companies that a lot of people are watching out for for this upcoming week. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think, what kind of price action are you expecting for the overall market, also for Tesla stock this upcoming week? Are we going to have a continuation move, you know, potentially testing the support area over here? Let me know in the comments below. I'll let you hear your opinion. And of course, if you're new to the channel too, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. But I'll catch you guys on another video. Have a wonderful day.